want to run a special vehicle for that in terms of money, in terms of facility. But SPV will move now, not if they are expecting. That also uh, uh, posing a question before us for delivering justice, of course it is for um, infrastructure and other development. The state and central has to contribute 2080 or other thing. Whether a private entity can enter into that. That is also a question. Now they are uh, thinking about that. Another suggestion came from Honorable Chief Justice as well as the Justice um, Kapadia. We have to charge more fees for the corporate lawyer. Uh, adding to that, there should be an argument for argument for three days, prolonging to three days or five days. You fix a fee just like Singapore or some other court they quoted. If you are logging per day, this is the fee. Whatever, because that kind of litigant or lawyers are not in a position to pay. We think about that aspect also. Some lawyers want to argue you know, three days, five days, twenty days. They are getting the fees. Same fee, uh, one amount of fees they can put to the public sector also. That's where you think about it. How we can tackle this one? Putting a penalty or a fees or a charge for reducing this delay. At the same time, we have to take uh, take care of the poor, litigant public also. In this, in, in this, field, I think now we can have a. Bargaining in India is not being taken so well. And the reason which they say is that any person who is accused is not wanting to go in for free bargaining because wanting to go for going for or volunteering for free bargaining means he will be convicted. And being convicted means his reputation or his image will be stigmatized. I don't know how many of you agree with that or not. But I have come to know from various lawyers that people are not opting for free bargaining because they say in case the offense is compounded, we are acquitted. But in case they are going for free bargaining, it means we are accepting that we will be convicted. So no. free bargaining is suggested as a mode of alternate dispute resolution in criminal justice system. It somehow we are not even sharing with you. We are not accepting any of you, we are just sharing with you. Even in, even in arbitration. When the matter is referred to conciliator, is report or any conciliator or any person, specialized person who is given to sort out the matter on a particular topic, it is not necessary that the arbitrator will agree with them. So, see what what has been talked about. Speedy trial, what do actually we want? Speedy trial means timely speedy. If that is if that is our intention, and moreover we are borrowing words from throughout the world. We are not trying to concern our problem with our own ways. What is good in America may not be good in India. Yes. What is our society? How we have moved? What was our past? We have to see. Somebody will say that greed, envy and jealousy, uh, I am not talking about more of jurisprudence, but then if greed, envy and jealousy, these three are kept apart, then probably there will be no litigation. Because this is, this is the, so then again the issue comes that character building is essential. Character of litigant, client counseling, we had a, I had the opportunity to once organize it, client counseling. If you ask any client, see, in India, people come to the court, what is my case, come to the court after having exhausted many resources. In other countries, there may be, when this uh, wave of mediation came to India about just three, four years ago, people from America came over here. They moved from state to state and they delivered lectures. That Canadian man, so many people came. 
I had also the opportunity to talk to them. I said, see, I have daily consultation with my wife <laughs> on each and every body. And you will go to the court for divorce because you don't go for conciliation. We don't need any guidance from the uh, Western world as regards conciliation is concerned, mediation is concerned. That is in our blood. Since past, we have been always adopting this. Neera Bhairok uttered the words that more laws, more litigation, more delays. Now, I don't know how many of us are advocates here. I pose a question if I say which I pose to, I have posed to always to my many of students to whom I have taught civil procedure court. Ask them that why do you use section 151 of CPC? Why? Always, everybody read with 151. When there is a provision already existing in the procedure, no need of 151. 151 is there only to enable the courts to meet that situation, which situation has not been dealt with as a procedure. That is the only thing. We see. Now again, philosophical question will be raised, uh, those who have studied that uh, Hobbes and Rousseau are different views about the man. One considers man as a social, very like the cow, and the other feels he is a cruel man. Litigation, why litigation is increasing? See, there was an amendment that you have to file the WS within 30 days, subject to a maximum of 90 days. That took three times. Extension is granted. That was a very good step, but that came in 2002. Does it mean that from 1950 almost <coughs> till 2002, we had no minds? No, we had minds. But people were not ready to take these steps. See, we should not try to buy by some. Uh, I, I'll just finish with because I'm not a speaker over here. Because volumes can be spoken on this aspect at least. See, our concern should be one only: how we have to solve the problem from all angles. We are moving from part to the whole. We must move from whole to the part. When we move from whole to the past, we will go on minimizing the problems. We, we suffer with some situation, okay, find out the solution of this only. Somebody will say, okay, I, I'll write down an act, it will be passed by the parliament, and that is solved. We do not know okay, what will be the result of this on others. So, total prospective study is to be made. No jugglery of words. No quotations from various judges in parts, they should be removed, add new ones, and try to solve the problems. Thank you very much, sir, for And now uh, I'd like to invite Mr. Kabir Shagrawal to express his view on speedy justice.
judges, the number of judges required for speedy disposal of cases. But still, the government keeps spending uh, a greater amount of, allotting a greater amount of uh, resources to uh, arms and ammunition, but it is not uh, spending money on, adequate money on uh, public welfare. The, this, my second point is, uh, judges uh, must be forced to work harder. For instance, uh, we have holidays of several months in uh, high courts and Supreme Courts. Whereas in other government jobs, there are, uh, these many holidays are not awarded at all. The IS officers or uh, other public servants uh, are not given these many holidays. We must ensure that, uh, that judges uh, should be made to work harder. Then, uh, in our country, infrastructure is also lacking. We, we do not have uh, sufficient, adequate number of well-educated English-speaking population. The staff is poorly equipped with the means of dis quick disposal of cases. Next, uh, there are no uh, clear incentives provided to the judiciary uh, to work hard or uh, uh, for promotion. Uh, I feel that in case the judge works um, uh, out of the, if the judge performs exceptionally well, out of the uh, promotions should be allotted to them. And if if it is found that some judges are not working hard enough or are not working at all or are cut up, uh, there should be uh, there should be demotions for such judges. Uh, next, I feel that there is a lack of innovativeness on part of judges in India due to rigid uh, laws. Uh, a judge, if he wants to adopt any new procedure, uh, which is, if, if a judge, uh, if, if a judge finds that a case is clear on the prima facie, if a judge finds that what the, uh, if a plaintiff is alleging some false allegations against the defendant, which are, which are blatantly prima facie false, then the judge must be allowed and must have the opportunity to dispose of the case right there and then without having to go through the entire formal rigid procedures. If, if the party, if the defendant party himself admits that what the plaintiff is alleging is true, then the judge should obviously not be uh, compelled or should, all, should not be bound to follow the procedures of the law. Next thing I want to mention is that uh, Costs must be awarded uh, <coughs> to the victims liberally and, uh, and on realistic scales. They must not be uh, on theoretical scales and uh, the judges must have the liberty to decide how much compensation or costs should be awarded. Thank you. 